Hi, I'm Dave Wood. This is Thread Plug Measurement on the Lab Concept Premium 300. So the first step in this is going to be to mount the, the plug holding device, which is this apparatus here. You see it mounts directly to the beam. And it locks on using this thumb screw here. There are some limit screws on the sides which would limit the uh, the float in the x-axis, which we're going to leave open for this measurement. And it's able to grab a plug in two different ways. So today we're working with a thread plug that has nice center drills. So we can use the cones here and here. But a hexagonal handle such as this one, I'll just pull this off, can also be grabbed by this center clamp. So you notice the upper and the lower clamps both move, so this always stays right in line with the anvils. But if you have a plug that only has a go or a no-go side, and the handle is a better way to grab it, that's a nice option. But for the purposes of this measurement, we'll just go right in here and mount to the cones. So now this allows us to move our gauge between the go and no-go ends, as well as rotate if necessary for uh, 0 and 90 measurements on the same gauge. Next we'd want to mount the anvils. For this we use the 6.5 millimeter diameter cylindrical anvils. And these mount right onto the standard anvils for the gauge. I'm just going to slide it out of the way a little bit. This is the number 2 anvil. So this would go on the right side. There's a little two and a little one etched onto the mounts for the anvils. These are a tight fit, might take a little bit of wiggling. And in general, we use the, the mounting screw in the vertical position as a standard. And the left side, there is a single hatch mark which matches the marking on the anvil mount. And again, this slides right over top until the bottom's out and then lock it in place with the set screw on top. So then we would want to move our fixture in place so that we know it can come into contact with the left anvil. And lock that down. <clears throat> Actually I've forgotten to set the anvils together so loosen one cone, remove the, remove the tool we can touch the anvils off and set our machine to zero. Now we can remount our tool. So on the software side we'll be using QMSoft, which is a gauge database management software. It has modules designed to help uh, measure for standard threads, tapered threads, uh, cylindrical tools, uh, as well as pins, indicators, pretty much anything you'd be checking in a lab environment. For this exercise, we'll be using QM Thread, which is designed for, for thread rings and thread plug measurement. This opens a, a new window where we'll be prompted to enter the identity number, the thread standard, as well as the, uh, the standard we're measuring against, this being a metric thread plug I've selected metric standards and entered the, the M18 size. When you hit the calculate button, it should self-populate with the uh, accuracy requirements for the standard and the accuracy of gauge which you've selected. Go ahead and continue. And here we can select uh, how many measurements on each gauge as well as the, the measurement method required. We'll be using the three wires method which is pretty standard and it's calling for three measurements uh, so three measuring planes and two measurements per measuring plane so a zero and a 90. Uh, for demonstration purposes I'll knock that down a couple of notches just to uh, in the interest of speed so we'll just go one measuring plane and one measurement per plane per side Visual inspection on the gauge is okay. Continue to the actual measurement. The software, based on the, the standard of the gauge, will recommend a thread wire size. And it does 
tell you the 1.35. Yes, that's our recommended. So this is our certified wire set. There will be two clips labeled with 1.35 millimeter. One is a two wire set. The other is a single. We'll need that because uh, the, the threads don't line up perfectly one side to the other because they are helical. So you need two points of contact on one side and a single on the other to form a nice triangle for a diameter measurement. And then these clip directly onto the 6.5 millimeter diameter anvils. Spin that close to vertical. And clip one on the other side. Now this is a nice hands-free operation. Uh, I'm sure anyone that's used a, a standard free three-wire method uh, generally takes about four hands to get the thing all, all set up properly. This is a nice zero, uh, zero touch setup for the user. No heat or vibration going into the actual measurement itself. And when we come close to home, this should just drop in and line up and all we have to do is go up to our measuring force. So it does recommend a measuring force also. So for this standard, 1.5 newtons is what's recommended. So we can dial this down to 1.5. Now because I set zero on bare anvils with a different measuring pressure, I'd actually have to go back and, and uh, take all this off there and go anvil to anvil on the same measuring pressure we're going to measure with. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to skip that. We have our single line of measurement here um, because I dropped that down on a, a previous measurement or a previous screen. Uh, we just want one measurement per side. This is the go side. So we've got our, our proper wires, our proper measuring pressure set up. So now we can just come into contact with the gauge, get to our reference mark there to make sure the pressure is right. Highlight the cell we want the reading to go and hit the foot pedal. And we can tell there's our actual measurement based on the wire size and the thread standard. The effective diameter, the pitch diameter, is just inside of tolerance. You can see it gives a little bit of a little graphic here. Our X is just at the high end of that. So we are in tolerance. This is a good part. We can go ahead and hit continue. And now we're on to the, the no-go end of the gauge. Now beautiful thing about this fixture has enough play where you can just back the anvils off. slide down to the other end of the gauge and re-engage the, the thread and see it's warning me that it must be changed it's an automated warning in this case it's actually the same wire size for both ends so we shouldn't have to it's also on 1.35 and again bring our anvils into contact When they mesh with the thread, it should self-align. Come up to our reference point. And again, we can highlight our cell, hit the foot switch, and have our reading. And we're right dead center in the middle of the tolerance field, so the, the no-go end of this gauge is right in tolerance. That's perfect. So from there, hit the continue button again. And this brings us to a form where we can configure the, the, uh, the layout of the certificate. Now again, this is a customizable certificate, so you can come in and, and edit, the, edit the layout or create your own layouts with your own company logo and all that. But uh, this does, at the end of the process, kick out a cert showing your measurements and the results for the gauge in question. And that is thread plug measurement on the Lab Concept Premium.